Hey guys, it's Nostatic back again for another gameplay. And um, today we're looking at Dead or Alive Ultimate on the Xbox, uh, which was requested by Craig Shree. Um Okay, so I'm going to start by showing you Dead or Alive 1. Basically, Ultimate is uh, they've remade Dead or Alive 1 and Dead or Alive 2 on the original Xbox and just glossed up the graphics back to make them look better. Okay, we're going to pick. Uh, Pit Leaf from yesterday, which is not that great. I'll go with Kasumi, try her. Let's see if she's any good. You see, the graphics look better, but they're still not brilliant. And you can't use the analog stick either. Oh, that's block one button. Shit. Reminds me very much of that. Uh, piss off. Reminds me of uh, Virtua Fighter and the blockiness of the characters. I mean, you can see the smooth you know, because it's on the Xbox, but it still looks very awkward. It feels awkward, and I just got my ass kicked, you bastards. <laughs> Alright, try again. It's really annoying not using the analog. I mean, I've always been an analog kind of guy for analog, a digital kind of guy for doing a bloody fighting games 2D, but 3D analog works way better. Oh, backflip, cool. I don't know how I did it, but that was pretty funky. Music's good though, good that, it's really it sounds really nice. Oh wow, cool move. Damn missed. I don't know if you can counter on this one, like you can on the second and third ones. I think you can actually. Yeah you can, you got counter move there. Oh excellent. The replay's a bit weird with the old square box, isn't it? That's all about. Next match. I mean the graphics do look better, but you look at this, this level in particular looks very much like Virtua Fighter. It just looks like a ropey Saturn game. I say that like the Saturn does 3D really good, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Damn it! That's good. Still, still out of practice on the Dead or Alive. It's been a long time. I've never been very good at 3D fighters anyway, but I'm better at Dead or Alive than most. Which doesn't sound like this in there. She's on playing at the moment. Oh, you bitch! Oh, nice counter, you cag. A good slap to the face there, I'll do it. Oh, bitch. That'll do, get rid of her. Fine, grab Riffin Cat. Oh, there you go, that's the counter button, wrong button. So what the hell is the A there then? Is that just a punch? Yeah, it's like a crap little slap to the bottom there. Oh, you counted me. Ah, oh, I got her back. Yes! Nice counter return there. Say no <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think if you're doing it, then all I've found, you should definitely pick this up though, if you haven't already, because it's still great fun. But as you'll see when I show you Dead or Alive 2, that looks absolutely stunning. It looks so much better than this. Ah, nice move, look, well done. I don't like that move pad, that looks crap. Could have done a much better job of it than that. Oh, nice move. Now I'm getting the music's brilliant, it sounds really good. Oh, you shit. Oh, I tried to counter from the counter that counter. What a shit. Oh, I'm not having that. Oh, come on, love. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, that's not good, is it really? Okay, guys, well, that's Dead or Alive 1, and uh, now I'll show you Dead or Alive 2. Hey, guys, okay, so here we go. This is Dead or Alive 2, um, and as you can see already, it looks fantastic. Uh, they really did a good job on the graphics on this one. I think it looks brilliant. 
Uh, basically, they've just made it look like Dead or Alive 3 did when it came out on the Xbox originally. And it is stunning. Obviously, I still prefer number 3 because you get better characters, there's not enough choice in this one. Um, right. I couldn't be fang this time around because I actually quite like on this one, she works quite well. Seems to fight better than she does a number one. There you go, guys. I mean, look at the graphics. Absolutely yeah. awesome. It's just as beautiful as Dead or Alive 4. I mean, it's such a, a such a contrast between the two games when you look at them. One and two. I can't believe how much difference there is. I mean, look at the snow and the way the powder comes up, and it's just absolutely stunning. And it plays better. Oh, and you can use analog stick and all, which is so much better. Kicks her ass, excellent. I, I absolutely love this, I think it's fantastic. I mean, I played this originally on the PS2 and I played it on the Dreamcast and it looked and played fantastically. But you look at this version, it's far superior. Uh, Lefarious, a while ago, did a um, live 2 on the Dreamcast. So if you want to see the Dreamcast version, go check out Lefarious' video and I might actually post this as a response so you can see it. But I mean, just look at the quality of those graphics. I know graphics aren't everything, but man, this, this Xbox is stunning. <laughs> Oh, she's going to come off the bloody side of the cliff. Oh, you bitch. Ah, I've counted her. Oh, nice move, look. Slam me on my head. That's better. Oh, shit. Come on, wake up. That's better. I think I love about this game is that, not number three, the little things like the grass, the way it moves, the snow effects, everything just looks absolutely stunning. In this level, you can see the lighting effects on the floor, the reflections, they're absolutely superb. It just shows why the Xbox is such a good system. It really is amazing. I know essentially it's a PC in a box, but it's just a great idea. Oh, come on, you old bastard. Oh, it's a tough little shit in there. Oh, git, he got me a treat then. No, I ain't never come back, he just windy me in the throat, the bastard. Smooth move, old man. Alright, I'll try and kick his ass. Beat the shit out of him, you see, no problem. That can get annoying what she says there. Oh, smooth. Nice. Come on, kick his ass. Oh. That's the thing on the wall. Oh, a nice one. Oh, through the wall. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, this is well worth a pick up just for Dead or Alive 2 being upgraded. Then mind Dead or Alive 1. It's just fantastic. So I've also got a gameplay of Dead or Alive 3 on my channel, if uh, you're new to my channel, have a look. Uh, Dead or Alive 3 is fantastic. I wish you can say that every time. Oh, I had this problem yesterday, she's a right cow, she beat the living shit out of me and have a chance. So unless it's Street Fighter 2 on the SNES, I'm not very good at fighting games. And even then I need practice on that, and actually I've just done beating so <laughs> that's amazing. Fantastic, she kicked the crap out of me yesterday, I didn't have a chance. Get ready, fight! I said, yeah, get straight in there, not having no shit from there. Oh, damn it. Oh! Come on. That's better. Damn it, I can't stop trying to do that. Bloody move, oh, you bitch. Oh, a nice chain set. I'll give her that one, that was excellent. Don't mind losing when they do a good move, that's fair enough. Oh, that's better. 
shit. <laughs> oh, she's just kicking the crap out of me. That's better, come on. Oh, nice move. That's got her. What I've done for her. Yeah, got her. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's Dead or Alive 2. Absolutely fantastic. So that's Dead or Alive part 1 and 2. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon.